today's press is about informing uh, the country and especially uh, the Pongo Party followers nationwide uh, that Mr. Pano has graced us with the withdrawal of his uh, court proceedings that he has initiated. It was nothing personally confirmed to us. It's more to do with party processes and proceedings. Uh, he felt that uh, the party processes and procedures were not uh, upheld, uh, and there were some constitutional flaws uh, in as far as how we handled the, uh, our convention recently. Uh, and he was aggrieved, and he went to court. Uh, but the court has, had directed for uh, amicable solutions that all parties meet and, and try to resolve. Uh, Mr. Pablo uh, and his lawyers and our uh, Madam President and her lawyers uh, and the party lawyers were able to meet and we resolved uh, amicably that the issues were, uh, that were raised can be addressed in the party council and an oncoming uh, party national convention just before the national general elections in 2022. And so today, uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, uh, to uh, inform the country and our Pango party uh, support and our districts and provincial branches, and our national council members, and our national executives, as well as our party uh, 39 strong members of parliament who are part of the parliamentary uh, wing, uh, to inform that uh, Mr. Pando has uh, withdrawn his court case. And our lawyers have signed for the withdrawals, and the matter is now going back to court for uh, the con uh, uh, consensus that was reached. And Mr. Bando has withdrawn. On the, uh, this occasion, Mr. Bando, let me say thank you. And if I could invite you to the media uh, for you to have an address to the media on uh, what took place and, and affirm the withdrawal that uh, was initiated uh, when we got together as a party. Please. <coughs> Uh, I would like to tell uh, the people of uh, Papua New Guinea, followers of Pangu Party throughout the country that uh, I have withdrawn the case, the court case that I filed against the party itself too, in which I'm a part of, part and parcel of. Uh, I filed the case because of some uh, uh, irregularities that I have uh, established after the uh, nation convention and uh, it was not for my own benefit but uh, for the benefit of the uh, party that we cannot let uh, those kind of irregularities go untouched and unnoticed that in the future we will we must follow the constitution of the party because the constitution is the the only instrument uh, that uh, guides and uh, takes the party forward and it looks up there, it protects the, the party. And uh, when the party was in the wilderness, I look after the party. Through good times and bad times, I kept the party all along until uh, May 2019 when my uh, Honorable Prime Minister uh, be, uh, come in and uh, took the leadership and led us into uh, forming the government, and now we are in government. So to cause stability to the party, uh, government which was formed under my leadership as president, uh, I should not cause instability by going to court, but when the court gave directions to the, the parties to solve, uh, resolve the issues, within the, uh, the party, I was glad and then I came back and then our lawyers, we sat together and we established where it went wrong and the, the things that we need to sort it out. We say, okay, the party will sort it out and based upon the party's uh, uh, agreement, I have decided to uh, withdraw the case. And now, uh, while, while withdrawing the case, I would like to tell the country that uh, Pangu was privileged to uh, uh, make a history by electing the first uh, woman president, uh, who is uh, Madam uh, uh, 
she is not on just came out of the blue. She is a Pango Party stalwart. Yeah. Uh, she has been a Pango Party blood along. And when I was the president, I recruited her as a council member. I'm happy that now she is my president of the party. And uh, we uh, will be still around in the party uh, with my prime minister, with my uh, president, madam president. And uh, together we will um, um, ensure that, that the party uh, will move forward uh, from 2022 and uh, based upon the uh, principles of, uh, um, of um, uh, promoting women leadership, I've decided to withdraw the party and here we are now sitting together uh, telling the nation that the court case has been withdrawn. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, there you go for the uh, those in the media. Please uh, uh, do cover that uh, Mr. Pando has withdrawn his court case, and uh, uh, our party, uh, in as far as our leadership is concerned, uh, is together solid. And uh, we now, I now take this moment to uh, introduce or rather allow Madam President, uh, Ms. Singit, to have one or two words. Uh, Pangu is totally privileged. Uh, to have a uh, woman president at this time. Pangu is not just a party that has arrived because I became prime minister. Pangu was at 1975. Pangu founded this uh, country. The institutions we have today, the three arms of government, the independence of judiciary, our Ombudsman Commission, our, our functionality of our systems of government and our public service are all for delivered to a nation by a Pangolet government in 1975. And at this juncture, we believe there's a place for women leadership. And uh, uh, through our due process, uh, apart from the irregularities that uh, Mr. Pangolet has said, uh, in a meeting that was held in public, uh, see our Senate to leadership. And as Mr. Pangolet correctly did indicate, uh, she is no stranger, she is part and parcel of our party Structures is been in the party council for uh, uh, many years. Uh, she was a senior public servant in the country. Uh, the last role was a uh, uh, chief executive of the Tourism Promotion Authority. And uh, uh, for us as Pangu, we are privileged and I acknowledge the uh, ascension to uh, our leadership of the party in the non parliamentary wing. Our party has two, two wings non-parliamentary wing and the parliamentary wing. I'll come back to this a little later in, in the context of facing 2022. And uh, she has our non-parliamentary wing, uh, but more importantly, uh, the leader of our party, even when parliamentary wing is not around, the president of the party still remains running the party going forward. So she, in our party structure, in my view, ranks number one, and uh, all of us work for her in as far as our problem. Uh, Mr. Pando is no stranger, I just go back to him a little bit. He went, the Honorable Sam Basin was leading the party, you would know, the country knows. He has always maintained that we must follow the party constitution. So he's been a, he's been a beholder of a party constitution and a, uh, uh, he withdrew on the basis that we do the right thing for the party. Uh, no other, uh, no other factors made him withdraw, we gave him assurance that uh, we will uh, correct what needs to be corrected for the party uh, through our party council and the oncoming party convention. Uh, so on that basis he was kind enough to withdraw the matters he wanted in the court. Madam President, you have the floor and the press. Thank you, Prime Minister and my party leader. Um, I'm very privileged, very privileged today to be sitting here talking um, as a pioneer, being the uh, national president of the old and running party today. What happened in the last couple of weeks have been the uh, moments of test for the party members, the provincial and sub, um, sub of council.
Expo members out there, as well as the country as a whole. It was a real testing time for all of us. And it was a huge test for me as well. As, as, is, as we know, the national general election is just around the corner, and my election was just yesterday, and time is not on our side. I just want to encourage our party supporters, friends of Pango, and our provincial executives and the sub district executives to stand together, stand firm. Oh, there's no longer a um, tsunami in the Pango party anymore. We are all stable now, and I want this is a call out from this table now to all our party members and executives and the people who believe in our party and our government that we are back as business as usual. And we want our, my call again is please let's all stand together, work together and move forward and be prepared in the last few months towards our national general election. And this is also another call out to the women. We're not in the house, but we want more women in. What party you come in, there's a call out for you. Be it Pangu, be it whoever. If we can get our women together. The thing is, we're with two wings. There's a parliamentary wing in Pangu, and there's a non-parliamentary wing. One wing is down, the other cannot survive. We need both wings to work. And that's a call out that if there are women out there contesting, please help and support. Thank you very much.